Think about your forehand. When you take that forehand back, that elbow is going to be bent. And as you come through the swing, that elbow is quite close to the body. It's not touching the body, but it's close. And then when we go forwards to get to the ball, I want you to release the elbow away from the body before it comes through. So to do this, you want to picture three balls lined up and you're gonna hit all three of them. One, two, three. And you're gonna do that by releasing the elbow forwards and getting your body weight through the shot as well. It's gonna do a couple of other things as well. It's going to elongate your contact time. So the amount of time that ball could possibly hit the middle of the string bed is gonna be longer. So if you're late on the ball, it's still gonna hit the middle of the strings or if you're early. Let's consider the same on the backhand. Okay, so on your backhand as you take it back, you keep your elbows quite close to your body. And then as we go through to contact, we're gonna release the elbows away from the body. And again, that's going to elongate the contact point there and give you a little bit more leverage on your shot. Good. Your grip is quite tight. So loosen up your grip, that's gonna loosen up your wrists and then you can use those wrists a little bit more. So as a little drill, you can use these uh, spots on the back end, you tuck them under your armpits, like this. Okay, on the back hand, and then for a few balls, we can hit keeping those arms locked in at the beginning of the stroke. We want to have our elbows a little bit more locked in like this. Okay, that's quite hard to get balls. And we can play with these elbows tucked in as a start. Notice how you have to use your body rotation to hit the ball now. You can't use anything else. Can't use your arms. You can only use the turn of your hips. And you probably feel like a T-Rex. You should call this T-Rex tennis. Ugh. Okay, so we're working with that hip rotation shoulder rotation. At the beginning of the stroke on the backhand, we do have pancakes in, but as soon as we go to hit the ball, we then release the pancakes. Okay, so we keep it tucked in and then release them. <laughs> okay, so just give that one, one go there. Tuck in and release. You can release both of them so your arms will completely straighten out. You're using a lot more body rotation now, which is great. So hopefully you feel like you're doing a lot more work with your footwork and your body rotation to hit the ball instead of just pushing it with those arms. Okay, so some of those shots are short balls and I'm coming in on those short balls which means I'm reducing the amount of time it takes between me contacting the ball and you receiving the ball yeah. so instead of doing your usual backswing you're going to have to shorten it okay. and at some times at some points you're going to have to shorten it as much as straight to contact follow through otherwise if you've got a little bit more time than that just make sure you get your your arm back nice and early. Don't wait for that ball to bounce. Try and get your arm up before it goes over the net. Yeah, so you need to decide which grip you're gonna start in. Because if you're in between the backhand and the forehand grip, bearing in mind you've got a two-hander, you should be starting in the backhand grip, moving to your forehand grip, and then you're ready for that backhand. Starting, start one. Start in your backhand grip. That's a neutral grip because you can still pick up balls with that grip on the forehand in that continental chopper grip. And then you're ready. You don't have to do anything for a backhand. And then you've got a, a nice quick grip change and I think you can find your forehand grip pretty quick. Most people can. 
Yeah. Okay, so just try that. 